everyone and welcome back to Everyday Husband Quotes, the channel for marriage advice, marriage entertainment, and everything else, marriage. Hey, hey guys, and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So the season finale of season two, will put a ring on it. We'll wrap up today. If anyone wants to be on the next season, Crystal Jordan from Enchanted PR Online says she can get you connected with the right person. Just FYI, if you're interested. But in this video, I do want to talk about Jessica from the last episode. As we saw, she did open up about some of her traumatic experiences in her childhood and with her relationship with her biological mother. And before I read what Jessica had to say, I do want to say that this was a hard episode for me to watch. And when family members want to add their two cents in by sending text messages, trying to diminish what you feel, it can make you feel some type of way which is exactly what happened to Jessica and why she is addressing this on social media. So this is what was posted on her IG account a couple of days ago. And she says, after three hard days of going back and forth with myself on posting and talking about this episode, I've decided to go ahead and speak up because God told me to. Now, if you watch this episode, the topic of the conversation between Eric and I was about healing from the past. It went way into not only my mother issues, but also into his as well. Some people were hurting our personal lives on how we felt, those same selfish, stuck people took a healing process for self, for us, and made it into their own personal issues and about them. Instead of consoling the both of us or simply congratulating us on being able to speak up and voice how we feel. I'm not going to lie. I feel like the one time God used me to speak up and help others, my moment was stolen from me because of other people's selfish reasons. But the devil is a lie and now it's time. So let me start off by saying I appreciate each and every one of you who have reached out and who posted about my story. I definitely seen and read everything over the last few days. Nothing was unnoticed. I apologize. I couldn't find it in me to repost or respond at the time simply because I was very much so still affected and was dealing with still trying to please others. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm very private when it comes to my personal life. So to let this hurt out on national TV for the first time was a lot for me. But the support and the people who relate to me as well was so real and so hard feeling. I know that God used me to be a voice for people who are just like me. Remember that everything happens for a reason and our steps are ordered by the man above. So I always listen to your heart and never question his timing because it's always right on time whether we see it or not. You never know what people are dealing with deep down inside so it's always good to be kind. One thing about social media is that it allowed everyone to have a voice and unfortunately some people use their voice to be so ugly and cruel and hateful. And it's people out here who are really hurt battling serious issues. So be kind. It costs nothing. I'll love Jess. So that is what Jessica Kelly had to say about last week's episode. And in a sit-down interview, Jessica and Eric admitted that they met in the DMs on Instagram. And maybe I missed it at the first beginning of the show, um, you know, just trying to figure everyone out. But also at that time, Eric was still playing football. His football career ended after two years into him and Jessica's relationship. And on the season finale tonight, Jessica and Eric did a meet in the interview, which is over there at Crystal Jordan's um, YouTube page, that they are currently still together have actually started a trucking company together and I do have a picture that I'm going to insert here but Star Offline reported that October of 2020 Jessica said yes after Eric asked her to marry him and posted this photo with her daughters with the caption wow I'm still shook up I said yes so this will actually be the couple's second engagement, y'all, which I find it kind of strange because the engagement wasn't even a year ago. Um, here's also a photo from Jessica's Facebook page and the caption saying that she is engaged to Eric. And Jessica also admits that her breaking point in her relationship to Eric was after his football career. So this is about two years after they had already started dating and how he started taking things out on her, like his anger and his frustration. And she believed that it all seemed from him being 
retired from football. And in my opinion, you know, maybe he was having a midlife crisis because he was retired from football and stepping into a new thing in his life. And so he was trying to adjust. And to me, looking at him on TV, he's still trying to adjust. And so Jessica is saying in this interview that she wasn't built to handle all of that. And she was at her breaking point with Eric because he took his anger and frustration out on her. And I mean, what woman would want to sit around and see a grown man pout because one thing has ended in his life and this next thing you got to try to figure it out whatever you gonna make up your life so i think with the trucking company um this is a new step in the right direction for them and so hopefully you know this will continue to pull them together but she does admit that she believed eric took all of his anger and frustration out on her because she was the closest person to him and from all the traumatic childhood experiences the relationship with his mom and then her mom you can kind of see that she probably was the closest person to him and so she was an easy target but before i wrap up this video i do want to say that i am happy that jessica opened up about her traumatic childhood experience you know pulling back that layer definitely allows for you to understand someone a little bit better and to understand why they come off the way they come off but leave your thoughts in the comment section of this video as always thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it and i will talk to you guys in the next video